In today's episode, we need to get some power from our base over to the mining dimension. For that, I thought we'd dive into a new mod. Thermal expansion, or thermal dynamics. I get the two mixed up sometimes. But you can see we can, there's leadstone, hardened, and redstone. And resonant is quite hard to get to, but we're just going to stick off with the basics. We'll hit off with the basics. So, off camera, I did a tad bit mining in the nether. Managed to get some sulfur. Nearly lost my life. Managed to kill all the angry pigmen. But, yeah, next time I will take you along. So, first things first. We got lead. Oh, I got tin, not copper. Okay, I'm Melissa. Oh, yeah, we do have copper. Right there. Okay, ooh. Gonna need that in a bit as well. So, like I say, first things first. We want to craft the leadstone, which that can hold 80 K RF per tick. To upgrade it, we need Invar. Which I thought we had. Apparently we don't. I think I used it all up. Or it's just in block form. Which in my case is probably in block form. So if I come back over to hardened. What did I tell you? It's in block form. Down the bottom. Okay. Makes it easier. Then I'll show you how we get the power from down there to up here. So, where was I? He's going to this chest up here. We want to grab an invar block. Then shift, click, and we upgrade to a 40. K. Oh, no, 400k. My bad. I would like to get up to this, which is. 32, uh, oh wait, no. Yeah, I'm reading the wrong thing. That is a 2 million? Or is it, no, 20 million. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's just a bit extreme. But to upgrade to a redstone, we need electron. For those that don't know how to make an electron, it's quite easy. And for those who do know how to craft it, there's another way as well. Both methods are easy enough. You can grind it down into a powder or My favourite method, if my game would stop freezing, is using smeltery. Yep, apparently my game is going to not cooperate. So. us to start working. I 
and then it freezes again. It could just be because of the bad weather outside. Because it is very stormy. So. Yeah, I'm having a bit of lag. So if I come over to this double chest here, I need a mix between two ores. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to really... Okay, so I want to... Oof. Yeah, I need the gold more than I need iron. It was nice knowing you iron, but I prefer being the gold. So, yeah, this is going to have to run for a bit. Because I cannot be naffed. <laughs> Takes two gold. To one silver. And it's ten, I need silver. No, next page, next page. Uses of pulverized gold. Oh no, it's one to one. Okay, not bad. Nice no, for is a two to one ratio. Right, people can be proven wrong. to go to sleep. Head outside. Right. I'm going to have to actually. Bleh. I'm not dying again. I'm going to reload. Bleh. That's nasty placement for an hour. Bleh. Stuck in my helmet. That's a bonus. Oh no, it's stuck in my head. Never mind. But since my game is deciding to not be responsive, I'm going to actually check the resources into this memory and hopefully when I join you next, I should be able to do some more. Because my game, like I say, is lagging. So, I will catch you guys in a bit. And we're back guys, so, like I said, I was going to stop recording, well, come back after I restarted the world, etc, and we're back, I didn't say stop recording, but, uh, slipped out, so, off camera, I've made the electrum, quite a quantity of it as well, So it's this one here that we want to make, which is the highest tier that we can make at the moment. 40, uh, 4 mil. 
which is roughly about actually how much we can store. Give or take. On top of that, before I go down, I need to make a bank as well. Because all the banks are actually over in the mind world. Mining dimension. Except from this one here. Which I need that one there for the time being. So, because we've already made one before, I'm just going to quickly fly through the recipe. I think I have to do some modifications to my mouse. And I've been having troubles with it where it keeps sticking. So I've actually taken one of my drummer tools to it and I've carved away some of the plastic at the front. But I might have to. a tiny bit more work to it. That, that's for a later date really. And yeah, when I s said drum at all, yeah I've got drum at all. I like doing little wood crafts, etc. when I'm not recording. Don't really have much to show. There's most of them I ever go wrong or I'm just don't keep them on me. Most of them have actually gone to my girlfriend. So far I've made a pair of matching wooden heels. Like little dinky little figures. But she's got them and I think she's painting or painted them. But I like little DIYs. I always like to keep my hands busy. And I will admit in the future recording might become a bit less frequent like it already is. I'm just getting into a schedule. But um, with one of the main things also I am going to be working soon because I am going to be Plasterer. A plasterer. If you know what a plasterer is, uh, it's a guy that comes around, or a girl, that comes around and does your walls and ceilings. So they do like a backing coat, which could be hard wool, sand, cement, and then. On top of that. Uh, you could skim it, ceiling, plasterboard and skim it, yeah, I am going to be a plasterer, 
I'm already in training. Well, already in college. But I'm doing my third year. And it's going alright. I will not say the college if I say see anybody that actually goes to my college posting. I will. I am sorry, but I will remove the messages. Because I don't want to give away any of my locations. Maybe in the future. I don't know if I will or not. I might record what I do and upload it. But that's a whole another kind of task. I've already done wall and ceiling in my house. Well, still live with my parents. That's alright. But we had building work done ages ago and my wall fell off. And I just had to reskin the ceiling because it was Artex. Yeah, it didn't look nice. All in all, the wall and the ceiling, 14 out of, let's wait, no, 7.5 for the ceiling, 4.5, and, and then 3, three hours. So, yeah, about 15 hours work over a few days it was fun what are the generators doing because I'm just been rambling on ooh I'm keeping up alright well that one's in the back they're doing nothing jeez That one's empty. That one's empty. Wow. It's almost full now. Huh? How's it doing? That's alright. Damn, that's almost empty. It's going good. I'm impressed. Mm, that's almost filled. For that, actually, the price. Have I got the resources? I should have all the resources. Diamonds, invalid. Not electrum. Redstone. I think I actually can. You probably need more lead. Yeah, I need two lead, not one. Mm, that's alright though. For what it's worth, I don't mind quickly jumping outside and getting some more lead. Unless I already have some smelted. Don't have any in block or ingot form. If you're wondering what I was doing then, I have inventory tweaks, which is this bar up here, which allows me to sort everything as it's to do my inventory. If I hit R, sorts my inventory. If you press over the item you are looking for it shows you where it is on the back of the smeltery I don't even know what the mob it is I want to know but I don't want to oh it's a creeper yeah try to stay away from that check if it starts coming towards you bolt it in the opposite direction grab the lead as you can see I am trying to stay out of the sight can't see me at the moment
I've got what I needed. I ain't staying out here. Probably should have slept. It doesn't bother me. I enjoy a bit of fun. So, like I was, I was making another one of those lead. Some resident, res copper. That's the only thing I did forget. Do I actually have any copper smelted? set filters did I is one of the easiest metals to mount as well as gold and a few others. Oh, my desk. Don't know why my chair's making that noise. Yeah, it does from time to time. But can't be helped. It's be it. And this is why I like to have two separate smelteries. Because I forgot about the tin. And what happens when you mix tin with, bron uh, with copper? You get bronze. Well, at least I know I don't need bronze. I am 
Então, cá. I hate it when I do that. But bronze is useful. It's very useful, really. There's a lot of uses, but I just don't really like to explore that. Ah, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20. I don't need that much. The lead I will keep. So yeah, I need to just melt this copper down now. And hopefully there will not be any more errors. But the bronze, I can actually use it to upgrade my tools. I think. I don't quote me. I would like to aim for Ardite, etc., because that is a lot better. They're not Ardite, Manulin. Which I could actually do. Because that's mastered, that's mastered, that's mastered. That's comfortable. And that's clumsy still. Copper. There we go, there we go. There's many uses for metals in the game. Each have their strong point and weak point. Bronze combina uh, combines the strength of both materials of copper and tin. It has a bonus. And actually, in real life, there was something called the Bronze Age, which came, I think, was before the Iron Age or after the Iron Age. I don't know. Now I'm losing track. I don't want to dig myself into a deeper hole than I already have. But I know one of the main things was they used copper first to make tools. And then from copper they evolved into bronze and then I think it went into iron age. I don't know. So, in that time, me rambling, managed to gather enough resources for the redstone flux, again, because having two of these is the equivalent of having a resonant, I think. This just gives me the capability of um, doing loads of stuff. And I'm just going to wait for this one to charge up. So in the process of that, might as well just empty my inventory. And for those who are wondering, and I've probably shown this in the previous episode. The Tinker's Construct tools are quite good. But I like the torches when I'm mining because they're renewable. This is the only way I can put it. Because the actual recipe is a stone tool rod and charcoal or coal. But down here you've got ball of glue, raw rubber. And then you've got sugar cut charcoal. But to get a stone tool rod, you either need two stone, which gives you four, or two cobblestone, which gives you two. Stone is easier if you've got silk touch, or you can smelt it. But then you're just wasting half of the stone, well, not stone, coal, to make the torches. So I prefer going with cobblestone. You get that stuff easy as anything, really. 
No, I've got stone here. I could use this hammer. No, I forgot. Cobblestone. Well, there. Two hearts. Not a lot. This just charges it fast. Wow. These drums are nearly empty, mostly more so this one. I'll take that over to the mine dimension with me and I'll fill it up. So then, mine dimension because Kane decided to crash. So, like I was going on about, with these banks, you can transport power, but I'm going to, because I need to power it all back up and get it so it's full of energy again, because as you can see, it's, it got quite far, but didn't have a lot of energy left so one way that we can actually refill them is we can use the redstone flux oh god what the I keep forgetting the name of them these things um, Redstone flux capacitor. I'm already forgetting the name of them. You can shift right click and it empowers them. Uh, still getting a bit of lag even though I've restarted. Oh, wrong thing. If you hold them, they charge up reason I made too is it makes the process a lot quicker because instead of transporting 4000 RF per tick it's transporting 8000 RF per tick so if we're instead of taking let's say about a minute to three minutes to fill it takes roughly about half about a minute there so taking two to three minutes roughly takes about one to one and a half minutes to fill a bank like already that one's filled uh, I will admit I have held out for the longest time but I've got a bit of a cold coming on or could just be my um, allergies are playing up again I have mm, yeah a bit bunged up so there's the second bank Here's the third. <coughs> Sorry about that. While I'm doing this, we're going to run down to. Might as well run down to the lava pump. I've already been down there and been back to base. I'm off camera. Make it a lot easier. But might as well show you what I've got going on down here. Oh, there's the fourth. I mean, onto the fourth. So, like, we've got the spider spawner down here, etc. But weird cave noises. <laughs> down here, like I say, it's. I could actually even connect these banks up to the lava generator. Yeah, it looks like we've got a bit of a lag spike going on. Can't be out. And I head straight on. Is a whole mess down here. I have been doing work on and off camera down here. I've extended the mine a bit, and yeah, just a whole load of stuff.
But, uh, oh, onto the fifth bank. Where is it? Now it is. Already you can see the banks uh, I've already made. Not banks. Redstone flux conduit uh, capacitors are almost drained. Because each of them hold 400 mil. I think it was. Or 40 mil. I'll have a quick look. It was. 4 mil. So they're going to have. Because this is 5 mil in my inventory. Of banks. So it's roughly going to be. 2 mil left in the bank's uh, capacitors. So, over here, this is the lava pump that I've got set up. It's draining. So I still hold shift. As you can see, this bank, uh, bank drum is full. Mine it and replace it. So that's just gonna get a last amount of lava, hold shift, and get a little bit of a lag spike. Probably just doing a backup. Yeah, because after this done. It's a lot less laggier. But now that all the banks are charged, to make it easier, I'm just going to go like this, and we're just going to hold one, and at the end. We'll have a look, see how much we've got in there. One bank that I've got in my hand. There is many ways to charge these. One of the fastest ways is chucking it in the bank. But there is other ways you can put it into an infu um Not infuse. Uh, is it an infuser? I don't know, it's puts power from one object into another. Look, I've got so many mods it could be called many things. But when we get up the top here, I'm going to place these bank, uh, banks down and I'm going to call it. There's and this episode is probably running over time. Knowing my luck it is, especially when I do a bit of editing, because I, I record it all in separate parts and I started to put it into solid episodes, which you guys have probably noticed over the past few episodes. The episodes have gone from being like five minutes or uh, 25 minutes or something random like that and it's increasing so from 15 up to like 25 up to now about 40 minutes long it's just making it a lot easier for me really I don't have to do as much well I have to do twice as much but yeah it's all fun and games really I enjoy it so sign off with you for today. Hope to catch you guys in the next episode of Max's Modded Let's Play. Bye guys!